All right, guys, so the first thing you wanna do when you're mulching large piles of leaves is to quickly go through and try to find anything that the kids left behind while they were jumping in the leaves. Now a quick shout out to uh, the Groundskeeper 2 guys. They sent me this rake when I was doing peat moss, but it's an excellent leaf rake. Now, uh, the, my favorite part is this, watch this. All right, so I hate when the leaves get all on the rake, but look how easy it is to get them off this rake. Boom, one swipe, you're clean. It just, it works really well, so. So you first get your big pile here. Then the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna raise the front of the mower deck as high as it'll go. Then you're gonna wanna switch it to discharge. Now with the Honda, it shoots out the back other lawnmowers that shoots out the right side. So that's gonna change how you mow when you're mowing. Because I've already cleared, I've already cleared the leaves away from the perimeter of the lawn during this part because I wanna mulch them all up. And if they're all over here, when I turn, they're all gonna shoot out back into that area and I don't wanna have to keep raking them all back in. So I'm first gonna go through the pile a few times with the set fully open. You'll see it come out the back and that's just chopping it up to begin with. And then after I've done that a few times, I'm gonna start slowly switching it down to mulch mow. You might have to just switch it straight to mulch mow depending on your mower. And then the final step will be to lower. So both of those are set to 2.5 inches and mulch mow it all in and we'll be good to go. So let's get started. All right, so it's mostly chopped up. I'll uh, show you. It's not perfect, but it's it's pretty well chopped up. So now I'm gonna start to slide this down. I'm just gonna slide it down. Oops. Doing this left-handed two notches. I'm gonna mow around a bunch, and then I'll move it two notches, mow around a bunch until I'm at straight mulch. All right, it's pretty much mulched into confetti. So now I'm gonna blow it evenly around the whole yard and do the final mulch mow and I'll do the entire yard instead of just the pile and it will be good to go.
Now the reason why I put it into a pile and chop it all up once is two reasons. One, it's easier to do it so you're not trying to do five steps across the whole lawn. And two, the kids really like to jump in the pile of leaves. So, okay, I guess it's more so they can jump in the pile of leaves. Now it would be a lot easier to do this across the whole yard if it wasn't that big of a pile. You could probably do it in two or three passes, but I'm fine with doing it this way. All right guys, there you have it. It's nice and cleaned up. Um, obviously you can see the leaves, but here's the deal. The benefits of having this stuff in your soil is just so great that it's to me worth having it look this way for about a week or two while it breaks down and then you won't see it again. And um, the size you want it to be, <sighs> let's see, let's get some sunlight, yeah. You want it like this, where it's like confetti, little tiny pieces. And so, because there's such a huge pile of it, it's still visible, but it's all really fine powdery stuff. And it's gonna break down super fast, and it's gonna help the soil retain more water. It's gonna neutral, nut add nutrients, neutralize, I don't know if that's a word, add nutrients to the soil. And they say that uh, mulching in the leaves and grass and everything adds like a fertilizer application of nitrogen to your lawn. I don't know how they figure that one out, but all around it's good for your lawn and you're not paying people to dump the, the leaves or, you know, fill up landfills and all that stuff. So it's good stuff. And uh, the trees, the leaves are almost gone. They're still a little bit. So I probably will be mulch mowing once more, but not, not anything big like that. And then it's pretty much done for the winter. Um, winterizer is probably, probably coming up in about a week, so tune in for that. All right, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun, making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.